Hi guys, I hope you're fine from wherever you are. My name is Kay Sam. I'm here always as your host. And in today's video, I am going to roll out what is called Custom X 2.0. Just about two days ago, I rolled out a video in which I showed you how to set hot cues automatically on all your songs that are in your browsers and also in different folders. And then I promised you that after a few days or three or so, I would come out with an update on the file. And then here I am with it. So I have this custom X 2.0 that I created myself as an update to the previous one. And of course, in the previous file, we had uh, three options to set hot cues. There was an option here, which was setting a, a hot cue after every four bars to set 16 hot cues on your song. You can go back and watch it. I'll link it down below. But in case you missed it, that is still there. So I decided to remove that pad and then replace it with a, a delete button. So this button now deletes all the hot cues that are in your songs. And I also decided to change this. I also decided to let indicators be down here to show you where the hot cues are really being set. And also the next update that I really made is that I decided to speed up everything here so that it saves your time. So if you compare the two files, you will realize that all of them run differently. This time around, this one is quite faster. And I will be having a lot of updates to roll out with time after this. So in the meantime, please make sure you subscribe and then we'll see how the things work. Let's get started. So once again, we're going to check out all the buttons that are here, especially these ones up because these ones are just indicators. And if you want more explanation on how these things really, what I really mean and some of the precautions of using this, what you should do and what you should not, please once again, go back to my previous video and then make sure you watch it to the end. And so let me start by this. So for me to set hot cues on these songs here, I'm going to come to the song where I want to start from going down. I always prefer starting from the first. So I'm going to test the speed here. If you watched my previous video, you will know that this one here now runs faster. So you can see that this is running quite faster and it is setting four hot cues on each song for all the songs that are here. Now, once again, it is still running for 100 songs only because I told you last time it was crashing the software. So I decided to make sure it runs for only 100 songs and then it will stop. So once again, when it stops, you'll have to click from where it has stopped. If it stops on a song like this one here, you will have to make sure you just click on the same button. Not the next one, but the one that you were using before to continue for the next 100 songs. So that is one of the updates that I really put. So I will make sure I roll out an update which runs for songs that are in your browser all without having to stop but that is going to come with a later time. So I really hope you are going to enjoy this. Once again, if you don't also know how to handle this file, how to copy it, I showed you in the previous tutorial, just go back and watch it. So let me just close this briefly to save the time of this video. I'm going to come back here. Anyway, luckily that it has also stopped. So if it is here, if you want to continue, just click here again and it will go on just like that. So I'm going to close just for time. So after some time, I'm going to open again. That was the first one. So let's test on the second one. But now these songs already have hot cues set. If you check here, you'll see we have one, two, three, four on all songs that are here. On a hundred songs from this browser, a hundred and so. So first of all, before we test this other one, that means we need to delete all the hot cues that are here from the hundred songs. So I'm going to come to delete and you can see it is loading and deleting all the hot cues from your songs so if you check any of these songs they don't have hot cues anymore so those are done for 100 songs and then now let's come back up once again something that you shouldn't forget is that this one is a reminder that you should always close virtual dj after running any of these after clicking any of these buttons pads rather make sure you close to refresh because if you don't the action will still continue running so let's again go back and then test this one and we also check the speed now this one here sets eight hot cues. I explained it also in the previous video. Please once again, don't miss the video. Just go back and watch it step by step. And this one is going to set eight hot cues after eight bars each. This one sets four hot cues on your songs after 16 bars each. I removed the other one. Once again, you can go check the file and then see how it works. So you can realize that this speed is quite faster and it's going to save you a lot of time. And that is just what I mean. So let, let me just close this. And then I'm going to once again clear all the hot cues. Now, this is also very resourceful in case you already have your hot cues set somewhere before, not using custom eggs. 
you can still just load your browser or go to the folder and then come to delete it is going to run and clear all your hot queues so you'll have the option to set them afresh so please there's a lot to do in case this file doesn't work the way you expect i have all the details in the previous videos some of the settings that you need to keep in mind to make sure it works correctly please do that i leave the link down below if you just go to telegram the telegram channel right here or even the chat group that is here you are going to check and get custom x 2.0 for yourself and then get running so that was it for the day i hope you really enjoyed the video my name is k sam once again thank you so much if you watched up to this time if you're not yet a subscriber please tune in and then subscribe click on that small bell and if you've been a subscriber thank you for always being there i'll hope to see you when you open my next video